guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video and this is going to be interesting because I literally suck at multitasking but I decided to try it the little disclaimer though sometimes my background get a bit noisy so I don't know if we'll get interrupted but I'm going to try this you can hear stuff outside already. I hear birds um, chirping or whatever have you. But we're going to try this and we're going to see how it goes. So welcome to my first ever chit chat video. So this is not a tutorial. I will be doing my makeup while we talk. And I'll be using my ever so beat up. My ever so beat up Morphe 350 palette. This is the last Morphe palette that I own. I featured two so far and this is the third one. And I've been loving these palettes even though this palette looks like I had it for years with this one missing and this one. Um, it broke. It came broken. So I don't know but we going to make something happen today. But I will be looking down for in my little compact mirror for most of the time because I'm going to be trying to get it together. But we going to talk and like catch up with each other. I have a lot to talk about. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I have a lot to talk about because I've been I've been I wouldn't say gone, but I have been doing tutorials and not like talking videos or anything. I'm going to do a simple look. I'm going to do something very basic today. Um, like I said, I suck at multitasking, so I will, for my first for my first video, I have no idea what this is. Like I said, I suck at multitasking, so for my first get ready with me video, I'm gonna do something just simple. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about um, a reference to my video of me my disengagement since that video I haven't even talked about anything personal on my channel or give y'all an insight on what's going on with me so I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring that back up so we can like see where so y'all can see where I'm at, I'm at as it relates to my video um, when I post that video I feel like I was in a place where I was still like getting over my breakup because it was really fresh like I think we were like about a few months it wasn't that it wasn't that fresh but we was like a few months into the breakup and was it a few months I feel like it was a few months into the breakup well I think the reason why I feel like it was a few months because we kept in contact for part of it but we weren't together. We still was talking and um, back and forth with, with, with each other. But totally not talking to each other. Not in each other's lives. I feel like during that time, it was like a couple of months. Or a couple of, yeah, like a couple of months into the breakup. And now I feel like since then, I am so, so, so totally over that phase of my life like I feel like the break the breakup isn't something that I even think about anymore I feel like I'm to the place where well I wouldn't say I don't think about it that would be a lie because I do I do think about it but I feel like it doesn't affect me in a way you know in the way that it did as in I'm not sad about it anymore or I'm not like depressed or anything I feel like I'm totally to a place where I can truly say that I am over that relationship like that was the past and the past has passed basically <laughs> I feel like I'm so over that relationship and I think about it as a learning experience I don't think about it like in a negative way although it was a bad experience something I don't want to experience again <laughs> but I feel like I don't think about it in a negative way. I think about it like uh, a lesson, like a life lesson, something that 
I learn and I can use in my future relationships to have a successful relationship because I feel like in my last relationship I did I did have a lot to learn and so did he so I feel like if he had the same mindset that he that um, I have right now like both of us will move forward in our next relationship please God I hope in that it will be successful y'all this room hot my my mustache is um not itching my mustache sweating <laughs> but yeah okay so with that being said um if any of y'all are going through a breakup right now like take me for example at that time I was so down I mean it probably didn't it probably didn't come across on camera as me being down and out but I was and I feel like after a while you would just get over it like you wouldn't feel that hurt and that um, brokenness that you feel during the, the initial breakup stage like as time go by you will begin to heal from that and I hope that you take me as an example I would I would love that I would love that you find hope by my video and um, the video that I'm talking about if you're new to my channel it has been private because you know what I'm saying a lot of people have their um, <laughs> feelings about the video and I didn't I don't really want to disrespect anybody you know what I'm saying although it's my story I still want to be respectful and you know respect other people's privacy because it wasn't me alone in the relationship it was me and him I feel like I could take this down yeah I just I just adjusted my light I feel like it was a little bit too bright for my taste but it was me and him in the relationship and I feel like I feel like I mean no one from his circle or whatever came and told me about the video but people in my life was like be considerate so Girl, I being considerate, girl and guy. <laughs> I'm being considerate and yeah, so I, I privated the video. And before I privated the video, like I said, I got some negative feedback and also some good feedback. Like some people was like, dang, like, but if you could go through that and get over it, like I could too. And that was that was one of the reasons why I post the video basically. So people could see my journey and um, know that life ain't a fairy tale because I could have be private about private about it but I feel like sometimes on social media that's the that's the whole issue like people just come across like life so easy and then like everybody just post the good highlights on about their life and then you're just looking at them like dang like they, they don't have no problems like you like what about me but I feel like posting that video was going to like show people that life being perfect you might have a plan you might feel like um, this person is who God has for you for the rest of your life and come to find out like that was just a that was just a practice session <laughs> that was just a rehearsal basically for who God have in your life to come into your life but um I guess people didn't see it that way and I know like people might like you who are watching this video you might be like oh put the video back up it's your life but then again I just decided to be respectful and then one other thing that I don't like about the the video this one thing that is my bad I feel like when people see the video like guys who like me <laughs> oh man when they see the video right I feel like it's telling them too much about me before they get to know me. Um, I don't know if that's crazy. I don't know if that's crazy to think or to say, but I just start to feel that way. Like I felt like maybe I should be a little bit more private on this channel because um, like everybody who meet me for the first time, they're like, what is, what is it that you do? And because this is something that is my passion, I'm like, oh, I do YouTube videos. And then everybody is like, oh, man, let me just watch your video, support you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that video was one of the videos where it was like I was opening up too much of myself um, to 
someone who might potentially want to take me serious. Oh, Y'all, my mustache is sweating. Mm. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I took the video down too. And also, um, I feel like I haven't been opening up because of that feeling. But here I is opening up. <laughs> here I is. Here I am opening up to y'all and just telling y'all the real deal. And with that being said, like, I want to give y'all an update on how I'm feeling these days. Like, I feel so optimistic that. Um, I feel so over the, rela re the relationship that I am uh, open to starting something new. Oh, and guys, like I am so excited about that feeling because um, if you been through a relationship, you know, like it takes you a while to get to that place. Like when you first break up with somebody, when you first break up with somebody, you have the uh, um, have the feeling of. I, I never go in a relationship again like <laughs> I don't know why like you have that feeling of you never want to be with someone again um, and that's where I was for a while and it's been two years since um, my engagement ended but I feel like I've been to that place for a while where I was like eh, I don't want to be with somebody else I just gonna be single and alone and die with my cats you know so but <laughs> now i feeling like hey if, if if god placed someone in my life and i feel like they're suitable for me and what i want in my future i feel like i would definitely give that person a chance you know and like i'm happy about that feeling uh i wouldn't say right guys that i don't like being single because um, I feel like I'm a good, I'm a good single. I love, I love being single. I sometimes feel like a loner in a way, but I feel like I'm to the point where I just ready now because I feel like it's been a while. A lot of people might feel like, oh, it, it's, it's just with two years. Give yourself some more time, but, um, I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready. So I know like everybody would have their time on when it should be. Um, appropriate for me to start a relationship and that's good and fine but I feel like I feel like when I'm ready I will do it and now I feel ready and like that's a that's a that's a good thing like I'm so happy y'all wouldn't believe how happy I am about that feeling I'm so excited to be optimistic about starting a new relationship like y'all don't understand y'all don't understand like if I, if I knew I would get to this place, again, I would get over my relationship um, a lot quicker <laughs> because I'd be like, whatever, it's going to happen again. But you know, like when you break up with somebody, you just be like, oh, that was the only person who loved me. I don't know why you would be so, like maybe just me, but I don't know why I would be so um, dumb. Like thinking with your heart, I guess. You'd be like, oh, but I love this person so much. And I don't feel like there's anybody else out there who would um, understand me. And I just don't want to get to know anybody else. I think that's how you feel. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing with this look. I have no idea. But that's just a basic look. But yeah, that's how I was feeling. Like, oh, there's nobody else. I, want. I don't want to get to know anybody else. I just shut down. Not that I wanted to get back together. Hell flipping no. Hell no. I didn't want to get back together. But I also didn't want to move on with anybody else. That ain't make no sense. But when 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 it comes to matter, matters of the heart, I feel like sometimes it could be so incredibly complicated. But yeah. So like I said... I'm excited. I'm looking for a brush, guys. I'm excited for the future and um, whatever the future holds. I feel like I feel like God is someone special for me, and this has got to be like really out there. But I feel like I feel like it wouldn't be long before I find a new find myself in a relationship. Uh, I'm happy about that. And yeah, I just said that on the internet. That was bold. <laughs> so guys, if y'all see me booed up, if y'all see me booed up in a couple of 
a month or so know that I told y'all first like y'all my days <laughs> but even though I say in this right now like I feel the thing that I'm gonna do before I get into a relationship is I'm really gonna consult God and that's something like my sister been talking to me about she like but before you um get in in a relationship like I feel like I feel like everybody in my life is more cautious like they like we gonna look out for you this time you ain't making no stupid decisions so they're like you know what I'm saying before you try to go into another relationship please 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 take your time and just pray about it like pray about the person that you want to um, get into a relationship with don't just go into a relationship all um, just because you have this feeling that you want to get a relationship but make a good decision make sure it's someone that um, you feel right about in your spirit you feel like God has given you the um, the okay basically to go forth with them you know oh I didn't mean to get so churchy oh <laughs> But yeah, that's that's what that's what it that's what I'm that's where I'm at right now because I feel like it will be so crazy for me to go and repeat the exact same cycle again. I'm not saying like I'm not saying like I may, I might not. I'm not saying that the next person I um will be with would be my husband or anything. Like I would want that, but I'm just saying like. I can't like keep making the same mistake over and over and over just because um, I'm so hasty you know you know just because I'm so hasty so I feel like I feel like the best thing for me to do is to um, take my time and just wait on God and just basically hear what, hear what he's saying that is what I want you know I just want to just do it <laughs> I just want to do it but like I feel like it'll save me a lot of heartache in the long run like I just want to just find somebody already I just want to say I am desperate but I feel like I feel like sometimes you just want the one I feel like this I feel this I this 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 the feeling like you just want the one that your heart chooses to be the one God chooses like you want God to make your will his will like you just want him to be like Lord, this who I choose, so please approve like that. Instead of him approving, instead of him disapproving your your choice, and you have to start all over. Anyway, I like it. I like the eyes. I feel like it's nice and simple. I could blend a little better in this area right here. I feel like this one of those. This one also looks I would throw on if I was going on a date. Like when I'm going on a date, I don't pack on the um, makeup. I don't I don't pack it on too heavy. Because like whenever whenever I'm on a date, I like for my although I is be beat, I like for it to my makeup to be something that enhances my natural beauty and not like distract or not like me being all extra. I like to look as natural and as glowy as possible so I think that's it with the eyes I'm not gonna do it the most today eyeliner is on okay so back to our chit chat <laughs> so I really hope that this time around I choose the right thing like the right person that's what I hope I hope like I hope I make the right choice because I ain't about that wasting time life. Like, I ain't about that wasting time life. Cause I don't know, I just feel like I just feel like I'm getting to the place where like that is getting old really fast. Like <laughs> I'm twenty seven now. I'm I don't have time to waste. I don't have time to waste and I just re really want the my next relationship to be like my last relationship I want that to be my that person to be my lifelong partner I don't want to be wasting time in these streets 
that's something that's something I really really want but like I know I know like uh, I don't know how to explain this without sounding desperate like I don't know okay let me let me just to a little disclaimer I'm not desperate y'all <laughs> I'm not desperate I'm not desperate for a relationship or anything I'm just like optimistic about this feeling and that's what that's what I'm happy for that's what this about like if God don't send someone right now today or tomorrow I will live so yeah guys I don't know I don't know if this chat is just completely monotone because like I said I can't really multitask I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to multitask, but I don't know how it's coming across, but yeah, <laughs> I hope it's, I hope it's a nice little chat, but, um, I think I want to talk for the last couple of uh, minutes to my single girls, because, like, I feel, I feel like so many girls are, um, out there, they want to be in a relationship, and they want to get married but I feel like in this season it's important to remember that I feel like a relationship should not be our primary um, goal although it's something that we all want I need to cut this lashes but I ain't, I ain't about to do that right now so this this is a little longer than my eye right now but I feel like I feel like having a relationship shouldn't be like our primary goal like the thing that we go um straight and sleep um we think about it all day that shouldn't be the thing that we are uh, after i think what we should be after first and foremost is like going after god and the things that he has called us to monica multitask <laughs> look on the glue y'all know what i trying to do though y'all see y'all see the point <laughs> Um, I think our goal right now should be basically um, trying to be all God has called us to be and every day we should be working towards becoming a better version of ourselves you know what I'm saying like I feel like a lot of single people are just so um, uh, hot up or excited about being in a relationship that we forget to love up on ourselves in love up on God and I feel like that's our problem right there like we we try to um, find someone else to fill that void that we are supposed to be um, working on filling like we supposed to be trying to get to know ourselves um like finding our dis finding out our dislikes our likes like being trying to be completely whole before we try to go into a relationship with someone else and like we don't we're not looking for someone to like make us happy I think I said that in the next video and that's something that I always 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 try to make sure that I am not a victim of I'm looking for my liquid eyeliner I don't want to be a victim of um trying to look for someone to make me happy because I feel like I feel like that person will fail me and then I would not um I would not be able to enjoy my relationship if I'm just like or he wouldn't even he wouldn't be able to enjoy the relationship if his job is to make me happy and that time as a single person I don't even know what I like so how can you make me happy if I didn't spend the time being single to figure out the things that I like you know what I'm saying I feel like that's our, that's our job like basically serve God be the best version of ourselves and um, enjoy life like while we enjoying life and while we out there just chilling I feel like that's fine <laughs> I feel like that that's fine God has reserved and preserved and set aside for you that he will find you and he will see you y'all I even ain't doing makeup no more I just preaching like I feel like he will find you and he will be like wow I want to be with a woman that is happy in herself like her like you can see the the joy just emanating from her she's not looking around saying where's my husband where's my husband la 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 
she is just truly living life and becoming all that God wanted to be. So I feel like this is an important time in our life, like where we can work on our um, hobbies, like my YouTube channel, <laughs> or we can work on our goals, like bigger goals that we have. Um, we could learn what it is to do things on our own so that when that person comes, like we will be a help to that person. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Loki. Why am I doing no makeup? Let me do makeup. <laughs> I have to do my lips. That's all. That's why. I feel like low key. I feel like low key. Another thing is that I want single people like myself to um, do stuff like get out the house, like go outside, do something. I have that. Pro I have that problem. I should say. I used to feel like if God has someone for me, like. Um, I don't have to go anywhere. We would just meet at church or something. Um, I don't have to really go out or anything. The person that God has for me, that he would just come into my life. Um, yeah, that's all good and well, but I feel like I feel like that mentality of waiting for someone to just come walk into your life, like basically come in your house, um, wake you up and tell you, I want to be in a relationship with you. I feel like that mentality is a flawed mentality. I feel like, I feel like that person who will find us, they will like find us doing us, like doing ourselves, basically. They'll find us living in a, in, um, to put it differently. They'll find us living, like they will find us um, basically enjoying life that's what I want for us because I know a lot of single girls like I say I used to be one of them I know a lot of single girls who have that mentality that look I don't have to go out let me just be home I like to be home um that's good that's good I love a woman who likes to be in the house nice and wholesome you know what I'm saying but I feel like balance like you have to find balance because ain't nobody coming up in your house um i'm not saying that it never happens but i feel the probability of someone coming into your house to look for you to marry you is <laughs> it is quite um nil it is quite small so girl i want you to go out there like look at me look at little old me i'd be going out there <laughs> I'd be going out there and I'd be enjoying life because like I find like a lot of Christian women women the only thing we do is home in church home church work home church work home work church and as a result of that we find ourselves like in church basically looking around to see who is coming to church to see like it's, it's the mentality like Lord I wonder if one of these man in here is my husband like uh, you have your eye on that cute piano player and you're like, Lord, I wonder if he's my husband. Or you looking at the drama or the brother over there in the pew like, I wonder, Lord, is he the one? And I feel like that could be a distraction from you finding God in the service. And that's not what we are there for in church. We're basically, we're there to serve God. And I'm not saying that you wouldn't find someone in the church. My last, don't, don't. <laughs> my last relationship we um we met each other at church but honestly to god i wasn't in church looking around like mm, i wonder what he would say what i mean like i wasn't like trying to pursue anyone i was just there to enjoy the service and i want to get rid of that mentality like when we go in church single ladies we ain't going there to look for no husband. Repeat that with me. We ain't going there to look for no husband. <laughs> no, for real though. We aren't, we're not going there to look around for a husband. I feel like the easiest way for you to find a husband is just to live. And in that perfect time. So, um, I know I'm talking off. Hey. I know I talk it off, and I hope I made some sense. I hope I made some profound points. Um, I just having a basic girl talk with you. I don't even have anything written down like I always say. I just like to um, talk from my experiences, and I hope that was something that you liked. Okay, okay, I'm going to do my lips, and I'll be right back, okay? <laughs>
Okay guys, my lips are done. <laughs> I feel like I talk y'all air off, but I hope you're watching. If you're watching at this point, you are the real MVP. And if you if you if you made it to this point, I want you to type MVP in my comment section. I have to know who made it. Like, oh, uh, because I felt like I talked so much, but I hope that y'all got to know me a little bit better. The way I think about relationships. That y'all learn something from me that would oh if y'all learn something that would make my day and that would make this video worth it the the truth is i recorded this video yesterday and i feel like i had um much more to say yesterday and i had my thoughts together better yesterday but i did not like the lighting it came out like it came out bad so I film again today, but I love the look better. Oh, this look is this look is giving me date vibes. Like somebody call me up right now. Let's do this. Like <laughs> let's go. But the craziest thing though, this whole video, like my mouth was sweating and y'all didn't tell me. Okay. I, I don't know how y'all could do me like that, but everything cool. So I hope that you enjoy this video like to my new subscribers I see y'all I see you I see you I thank you so much for clicking the subscribe button and rocking with me I appreciate that so much and I want to say to you all like if this video was helpful interesting fun funny anything that you enjoyed send this to a girlfriend send this to a cousin send this to your aunt send this to your mother you know what I'm saying like help promote my channel we trying to get to 200 subscribers here so help promote my channel i feel like i feel like with y'all help like people will be able to see me more and then it would really encourage me to do way more content and if y'all like this type of video i think i can do this more often because i don't think it was that noisy um i got a look going so <laughs> so i don't think it was that hard but yeah I'm going to sign out right now, but please hit the like button, hit the like button, that's how I know you enjoy this, and hit the subscribe button, remember, and always remember to be beautiful, and I will definitely see you in my next video, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, bye!